Yo, what is up you guys? It is your boy Forgotted, and we are teaching you how to get custom skin packs on your Minecraft for PlayStation Vita. I haven't seen a full-blown video on how to do this, so I'm going to be the first person to get it done. Now, for proof this is real, you would see normally most people would put their custom skins in here. Now, these skins came with the texture pack I have installed. I'm not going to be using them for this video. Right here you can see we have our custom skin pack, we scroll down, we have the anime pack, we go down a bit more and we have our community skins. So it is valid proof that this does work, this is indeed a PS Vita. And yeah, let's get into this video. So first things first, you're going to need something called Pack Studio. Now if you don't know how to get Pack Studio, I will be linking this in the description. Pack Studio has been revived by this guy named Phoenix if I'm not mistaken and he's put a lot of time and effort into it and it also supports making your PS Vita and if I'm not mistaken your PS4 skin packs. When you download Pack Studio, it's very self-explanatory installation. All you have to do is take all your files from your zip and put them in a designated folder for Pack Studio and you simply just open it up. Now as you can see 5.5 added support for PS Vita packs and PS4 packs. Now if you want already made packs, you just go into Pack Center, so you would go to File, and then New, and here's your pack so far. Go into the zero, go to your pack ID, and put in four random numbers. This is very important, you don't want it to have any issues with any currently installed packs. And then you might want to add your name, so you go to your localization and edit the lock file. We're just going to call it Tutorial Skin Pack, and we're just going to replace all our files in here with that. So boom, now you have your PS Vita skin pack name. And for the sake of this video, I will also be linking its Oasis video down in the description if you guys are interested in getting yourself some custom capes. And the capes we'll be getting is just in the capes folder inside of the zip. All right, so we got a few skins downloaded. We're just gonna create a skin. The skin ID, you wanna auto-generate it. First off, we're gonna select my skin that I already have. Boom. This is an Alex skin, and then we're going to add a cape to it. So our first skin, we already have it set up. We already have it in Alex form, so it's a 3 pixel arm skin. Create. Boom. That's one skin added. Once you are done, you're going to click the little box here until it highlights, and it says save as a Vita or PS4 pack, and then you save as. Then you just go into here and name your pack. For now, it's just going to be a tutorial until I get it up and ready to the way I need it. Okay, so we are back on our Vita, and what you're going to need to do is open up Vita Shell. We're just going to get your repatch folder set up. So depending on your Minecraft game region, you're just going to type in the game code as a new folder. And then you're going to go into that, and then you're going to make a folder called PS Vita, just like this, and your DLC. And these are any of the skin packs you can overwrite. Now for the sake of this video, we are overwriting skin pack 2. And this is the file name you need, so we're just going to open up your FTP server. And you're going to go back onto your WinSCP or whatever it could be. And you're just going to reconnect your session or make a new session. To find all your skins that you can overwrite, you're going to go into your Vita game. And if you need to, you can always copy some of these directories. And it's just skin pack 2. All the skin packs in here, you can overwrite. There's not many to choose from, so you might have to merge your skin packs, and then you're going to go to Repatch, and then the folders you set up. Now, this is the file we're going to be overwriting, but since we are overwriting skin pack 2, we're going to go to where we saved our skin pack. It's called tutorial.pack, drag and drop, and you're just going to copy the name of this file and then delete it, because we won't be needing it, and you're just going to rename it, put it in there, and boom. That is all you have to do. So on our Vita, we can just close our FTP server. You'll get a pop-up on here saying your connection was lost. Now back onto our Vita, we can just close out of here and you can launch Minecraft. So once you're in Minecraft, you can just go to your options, change your skin and look for your skin pack you have made. Mine is right here. As you see, I got a few skins in here already. So this skin unfortunately did not work. It was supposed to be a cape with wings. 
But yeah, that is how you install custom capes on your Minecraft for PS Vita. Similar to the same way it works on Wii U and other platforms. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like and subscribe. And stay tuned for some more stuff.